girls, welcome to Ask a Pastor. Today, Jared has a question for us. Hi, Pastor. My question is, why did sin come into the world? Hello, Jared. It's good to see you and good to hear from you. I hope that you're doing well. What a great question that you've asked, a serious question. Why is sin in the world? That's important because as we look out into the world, uh, we notice that uh, things are not the way that they should be. And even when we look into our own heart, we notice that things are not the way that we should be and that we sin against God. And so the question comes, why is sin into the world? Romans chapter 5 and verse number 12, I think, is a great place to start when answering that question. The Bible says, For by one man sin entered into the world, and therefore death passed upon all mankind. So when God placed Adam and Eve into the Garden of Eden, He told them not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And along comes the tempter, or Satan, the serpent. And he wants Adam and Eve to distrust God and to disobey God. And ultimately, they do. They choose to trust themselves and to be obedient to themselves. And when they take of that fruit, sin enters the world through them, and they are put away from the presence of God. Ultimately, you'll notice that there is a judgment there. They're placed outside of the Garden of Eden, away from the presence of God. And that continues down through history right up until today with human beings. Because of our sin, because we choose not to trust God and not to be obedient to Him, so we are put away from the presence of God. The good news is this. God sent His Son into the world so that He might take our sin into Himself, Jesus on the cross, die and be raised again so that every man, woman, and boy and girl who would trust Jesus Christ could have their sins washed away and walk with Him in this lifetime and in the lifetime to come. And so what happens is when Jesus saves us, He delivers us from the penalty of sin. And so now we have been put back into the presence of God. As we live our lives daily, we are being delivered from the very power of sin. That is, that the cross and the uh, resurrection not only deliver us from the penalty, but daily as we walk with the Lord, we learn how to sin less and less and to become more like Jesus Christ. And ultimately, one day we will be delivered from the very presence of sin when we are in the full presence of Jesus Christ. So why did sin come into the world? Sin came into the world because human beings chose to trust themselves and be obedient to themselves rather than trusting God and being obedient to Him. So I want to say to you, as I would say to anybody, the great answer for all of this is to trust Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Not trust what you can do or what you've done, but trust Jesus. And He will deliver you from the penalty, from the power, and from the presence of sin. I love you, Jared. I hope uh, that you have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, Pastor Steve. Thank you so much for answering that question, and thank you to Jared for asking it. Now, it's time to go get our Bibles. Pause the video if you need to, and let's find our Bibles and look up the book of Proverbs. Proverbs is in the middle of our Bibles, just after Psalms, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, one of my favorite parts of Scripture. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. This is kind of what Pastor Steve was talking about with Adam and Eve. They chose to trust themselves and their own wisdom instead of trusting God, His love and His faithfulness, and His plan for their lives. We sometimes trust ourselves for our own plans. Sometimes we even trust ourselves to do enough good things to take care of our sin. But we need to trust God with our heart, with our soul, with our mind, with our strength, with our whole selves. Trust in His grace that He has made a plan for our sin, that Jesus took the punishment that we deserve for our sin, and trust Him that He has a plan for us. 
Remember a few weeks ago we talked about he has how he has prepared good works for us to do? God has an amazing and adventurous plan for our lives. And he, this says he will make our paths straight. That doesn't mean that plan is always really fun or really easy, but it's a good plan. It's a plan for how to live, how to love God and love the people around us. And when we trust God with all our hearts, he will lead us on that path, on that plan. If we lean on our own understanding, on our own brains, on our own wisdom, on our own goodness, we're missing out on trusting the God who made us, who loves us, and who has a plan for our lives. So my hope and prayer this week is that we will place our trust in Jesus for the little things each day to get us through the tough spots, the stressful spots, the boring spots, every part of our lives. Trust that God is with us, He loves us, and He is leading us in His plan for our lives. Boys and girls, I miss you, I love you, and I can't wait to see you soon.